take a look at this. Fashion is everywhere. The way we look. The way we dress. The way we style our hair. Does it all have to be about glamour? Our challenge is to design a collection of clothes that you would want to wear. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a location. 350 uh, seats. Three presenters, two weeks, one fabulous show. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, and I did it. I'm really pleased. How oh, many bags did you three have? Not yeah, enough, girl. We had a Not big enough. expedition <laughs> shopping without you. Now, uh, to find out whether we pull it off, and make sure you're watching on Friday. Fashions change all the time, but every great look that comes back, there are plenty of others that we hope stay firmly in the past. Back in the swinging 60s, the mini was magic, and mini skirts have been in and out of fashion ever since. I love modern minis, but this one looks like fancy dress. Unless I was going to a 1960s thing party, I don't think I'd wear it. In the 60s, designers experimented with funky new fabrics like plastic and metal, which was all very groovy, but not very comfortable. Yo, peace man, you dig my threads? I'm like a hippie chick, another popular 60s look. Fab and groovy, but it's not one I'd slip into for a trip to the supermarket. Because, well, people would stare, wouldn't they? From my oversized floppy hat, my string of beads, and my multicolored flame caftan, it's definitely an eye-catching look, but not really in a good way. And like my 60s sister Zoe, I think this just is a little bit over the top. They call the 1970s the decade that taste forgot. And we're in this lot, I can see why. These clothes are the height of disgusting. It's not just the clumpy platform shoes which make me feel like a girl, it's also the high-waisted mega flares made from material which should have never left the factory. Then there's my top off. An incredibly tight tank top, team with a shirt collar, planes could take off from. And colour-wise, everything clashes. I can't believe I've actually got a girl to dance with me. Woohoo! But then just check out what I'm wearing. These little babies were called hot pants. I'm worn with platform boots. They were all the rage way back in 1971. If you trip in boots like these, you could seriously damage your health. In fact, many girls reported broken ankles and even legs from wearing them. And my top half isn't much better than guess. Rather than wear this boys with its horrible colour and another gigantic collar, I'd sooner cut it up and use it for dusters. Oh, and by the way, all the hairspray used to get my very glam look wasn't very good for the environment either. By the mid-70s, disco fever had arrived in Britain, and the king of disco was heartthrob John Travolta. All over Britain, boys just like me wanted to climb into the same suit and see if it worked for us when we hit the dance floor. Unfortunately, though, like so many fashions, while they look great on a Hollywood movie star, they don't always suit everyone. And details like this became such a joke, I think it's safe to say that medallions won't be back on men in a hurry. Woo! I think if I take my jacket off, you'll be able to see my sweat patches. <sighs> In the 1980s, fashion got physical, and not just in the gym, as health, fitness and dance hit the high street, big time. My headband, yeah, it doesn't just keep the hair off my face, it colour coordinates too. And lime green like, all right, it helps me stand out from the crowd. And as for this skirt, it's called a ra-ra, isn't it? And my ankles, they never get cold, thanks to my super trendy leg warmers. If I went out in this look today, I'd certainly turn a few heads and possibly a few stomachs too. <laughs> this is a so-called new romantic look, but do you know what? I'm not in love with it one little bit. In fact, I feel pretty stupid. Imagine turning up to your mum's house for tea with this makeup on. Have a look, have a look. Yeah. And as for the hair, well, as we say on Blue Peter, don't try this at home. Another 80s look, which may take time to tempt us again, is everything big. Big hair, big shoulders, big skirts. It was supposed to make you feel powerful, but with shoulders this wide, getting through the doorways could even prove a bit tricky. The puff ball is supposed to be making a comeback even as we speak. But come on, be serious. Would you really want to go out looking like this? Oh. 
as the 80s became the 90s, a new fashion embarrassment was on the loose. People dressing to impress, but missing the point. You see, I come from Cardiff, not the Bronx, and my idea of rapping is what we do around Christmas time. But to be fair, we can talk. I mean, bum bags are great for keeping your loose change from a car boot sale, but they ain't exactly cutting edge. And cycling shorts, great invention for cyclists, but who thought it was a good idea to wear them off the saddle? Even the most fashionable superstars don't always get it right. When footballing legend and gold blue Peter Badge winner David Beckham appeared wearing this sarong or skirt, arguments raged about whether it was a fashion delight or a fashion disaster. I reckon it proves that the stuff you wear on holiday, which is totally suited to sand, sea and sun, never quite survives the journey home. Where is this on the beach? I wouldn't feel out of place at all. But walking down my local high street is a completely different story. Whoa! 